A few days after DeMar Hamlin's terrifying injury a week ago on Monday Night Football, Dykes gathered his team together in an open forum, and he wanted them to articulate their fears, their feelings, what they saw when they watched that game, and how they felt about it. It's all part of Dykes' player-first mentality, and those players have rewarded TCU and him with a season for the ages. Here's Duggan. championship game. This makes no sense. TCU shouldn't be anywhere near the CFP championship game. It's preposterous, ridiculous, outrageous, and absolutely fabulous. Get TCU is college football's story of the year, of lots of years. The Horned Frogs at SoFi? Why not? After all, their season is sci-fi. Not even TCU could have made it up. Things don't normally come together maybe as quickly as they have this year. We have a lot of guys that really like to play football, that don't care how many followers they have on social media. They love their teammates and they want to win. This is a TCU program that hadn't been to a bowl game since 2018 and was picked to finish seventh in the Big 12 this season. You go from having a, a record of being five and seven to all of a sudden having a chance to win a national championship. Logan, look up at his father, baby. The guy who got them here is everyone's coach of the year, Sonny Dykes. He did all of this in only his first season at TCU. Couldn't be more proud of you. If you keep paying in, guess what? You get to take money out of the bank. Yeah! Then there's quarterback Max Duggan, who began the regular season on the bench as a backup and ended it as the Heisman Trophy runner-up. And now, he's at the CFP finale. I think inside our walls that, you know, we had a belief in the guys here and our coaching staff in this university to get to this point. The Trauma Toads won games early. Taking off, Duggan with his legs! Won games late. And now it's a total scramble. Very late. Griffin Kelly! Won games when nobody else thought they would, except them. We go to the national championship, big one coming up, that's the one we want. Let's go! There is no explaining the whole TCU success story, so why try? Just enjoy it. They are. It's mind-blowing. If we finish this the right way, this will be a story that will be told forever. Coach Saban can probably identify with this. Sonny Dykes says there are definitely issues in college football these days. But Dykes says that this team, the way they bonded together, the obstacles they've overcome, the way they've sort of become a national favorite in a way, has made him feel good about the sport again. He says there's a, sort of a purity to the season, and it's been a joy for him, Reese, in this his first season at TCU. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.